Welcome to Seals on the Move. I'm Alex Seals, and Rosie Seals is along for the ride. We've returned to the hotel near Disney World that has the impossibly long name, Courtyard by Marriott Orlando Lake Buena Vista at Vista Center. When we were here last time, the hotel was under construction, and a lot of the construction has been completed. It's like a whole new hotel. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. This hotel is on 13 acres. Check-in is at 3, check-out at noon. In total, there are 222 rooms, 86 suites, and 10 meeting rooms. We will show you a room and a suite tour in this video. Back at the hotel we came to back in February at Disney, and they've done a ton of updates in this place. Wait till you see it. They were doing construction last time. We even wandered into one of the construction areas, didn't we, Rosie? <laughs> But now the lobby is completely different. And we've got a different kind of room this time too. We had a suite last time. I'm not sure what kind of room we have. I just know we have a balcony. So we're gonna come check this out. Pluto can't come along as pets are not allowed. We're riding with the stormtroopers in the elevator. We have an interior room this time, which is pretty cool. We had an exterior one last time. So they still have these things with the resistance and the, well, that's the resistance, I guess. And this would be the, what are they called? First order? Yeah, I don't like the new ones as much. But we are in 267. And here it's time for our Oh, we're in 277. Oops. <laughs> so we're gonna have to walk down the hall. And we're going the wrong way. Numbers are going down. We gotta go the other way. We don't know what we're doing. Speak for yourself, mister. Well, okay, Rosie does. She was the one who pointed out to me we were going the wrong way. here. We're still doing some construction here. Nice. So we finally made it to our actual room. So. Okay, so now it's time for the room tour. So it looks like this is a, ooh, wow. May not be a suite this time, but it's nice. Got a good size TV up there. Rosie, can you get the lights on for us? Please? Thank you. Do you need more? Um, well, I don't know. It's taking pretty good video in here. Try this. I can see a similar design to um, the suite we were in just without the living room and kitchen area, I would say. Nice. But hopefully this does have a fridge somewhere. And we've got a porch area out onto dumpsters. So yeah, and it's locked. Maybe not the loveliest view, but we do have a view of the pond over there. And there's the entrance. There's the fridge. Oh, we do have a fridge? Good. Good old fridge. Ooh, look. Whole setup. And we actually got a normal fridge. In the suite, if you watch our video on the suite, it was like a wine cooler they had in there, which was kind of funny. And even a desk. And a wow. And in some ways, I think this is nicer than the suite. What do you think, Rosie? I like it better. Yeah. yeah. It's more even got a little. I like the design right there too. That's pretty cool. Our 
that here. It's a nice light. You got a little table. Add that in the suite as well. And they're still doing the Rock and the Paul Mitchell stuff right here. And what do we got here? We didn't have this in the old. Ah, it's a nice closet. That's cool. And the bathroom looks pretty nice too. Wow. Yeah. Nice bathroom. Yeah, so that's the room tour. Pretty nice. So this is like a suite. Got a couch right here. Painting on the wall. Interesting lamp too. You come over here and there's actually a little kitchenette. And I'm guessing this is a fridge, but it looks more like a wine cooler. So I guess we have a fridge wine cooler, but it, at least it tells us what temperature it's at. So yeah, we got our own coffee maker, which Rosie will be pleased about. Got a table to sit at, which is pretty neat. And look at this TV. Very big TV to watch Disney movies on, definitely. And then you come in here into the bedroom. They give you another big TV. Nice, spacious bedroom. And a little itty bitty chair. It looks pretty neat. Look at that cool pattern on the wall. Go around. Lovely view of the parking lot, but outside of our living room window, we have a view of the, uh, the courtyard, because this is a courtyard Marriott. Closet with, well, there's the uh, safe and your standard uh, accoutrements in a closet in a hotel. Got a desk. Nice bathroom, too. Look, a little table that stores stuff. They went all fancy. Paul Mitchell, just like salon brand. And yeah. Nice shower. Look, our toilet's even been cleaned. How nice of them. I think Rosie just laughed at that one and she's running away. So it's crazy how much they've updated this hotel since the last time we were here. I mean, they they were doing construction when we were here last time. They were constructing the second water area, pool area is <laughs> the better term to use. But we'll go out there and show that to you guys as well. But um, just the lobby is completely different. It was like this little tiny room had some food stuff you could buy. And now it's this enormous like top tier hotel lobby. So come along and join us and see what this hotel has to offer. A word of caution, you are charged for parking, which is $14 for self-parking and $20 for valet. Personally, I think parking should be included. Watch out for fees at this hotel, as parking is not the only one you will have to pay. We're being escorted to the bridge right now in this Star Wars transport machine. And these are our escorts right here. <laughs> Who are we seeing? Kylo Ren, Darth Vader? Who knows? So that's our room right there. The second one on the right. And what I mean by second one is second floor, not the third floor. But yeah, all the construction's still going on. There's a better shot of our room right over there. Like I said, right there. Found a lizard outside of our uh, hotel. And where we came in is still considered a construction area. Ooh, very dark. There we go. And we're gonna head to the lobby. This place is like a maze. I got lost last time we were here. So <laughs> we're all the way as far away from the lobby as you can get now. We weren't before, so this should be interesting. Out in the water area, pretty snazzy. Still lots of construction going on, but they've gotten a lot of it done. But yeah, that's super nice. We can head on in.
you look over here, they're still doing construction back over here. This is such a beautiful pool area, but it's brand new. As you know, if you saw our old video on this hotel. Looks like they can hang a TV up there too for the people who rent these cabanas, but they haven't, probably in the future. Got the gold bucket up there, Got some nice furniture out here. water slide. It is interesting as you look around though. Got all the construction. I just noticed this pool is a hidden Mickey. I guess it's the whole good neighbor hotel thing. You can rent these cabanas right here. Love the what? Color. Yeah, it's got nice beachy colors. Even though we're you know, about an hour from the beach, I guess here. So yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, down the slide, the second time. I keep hearing a voice that sounds like Alexa back here. And there is like a speaker, and I think it's telling you about stuff about the hotel. <laughs> Discovered this just now. You can actually charge your phone out here, and they have them protected because of, you know, the water. Here's a great shot of the new pool from above. I remember when it looked like a... Um, <laughs> A place where you could ride your skateboard through because they had no water in it and were doing construction. And they still are doing some construction over here, but that's a nice little sitting area and they've got, looks like cornhole down there. So we'll go down and check that out in a little bit. Yeah, look at that water. You see all the construction out here from within the fitness center. And what's really cool is seeing the pool no water in it. So basically it's like a 
place that you could skateboard. That's what it looks like. I've seen that in TV shows before. Just, People empty out a pool and skateboard in it. Just don't do that. You'll get in trouble. That'll get you kicked out. So they've added ping pong out here. So cool. And billiards. Or pool. You know, you can play pool at the pool. Uh, and look, the ball's already all out here. Don't have to check them out, I guess. So yeah, I've got a nice little seating area. Let's get a good shot of this out here. Yeah, pretty nice. Got over here some cornhole, some sitting areas, a bar area. And there you go, some nice cornhole. Pretty cool, very nice area. Especially when this was just concrete before. So it looks like there's a fire pit out here. Got some interesting looking rocking chairs. I do wonder what that's gonna be back there. Got the bar over here, the cornhole area over here. Well, what's that gonna be? Hmm. I wonder what's gonna be in this area. I really do. And what else could they put out here? You hit it. Well, this is pretty cool. How hey, how you doing? Got a bar in here now. Starbucks. Future potted plant area. and an all new lobby. I mean, you have to check out our old video if you want to see what this place used to look like. There was, this was like the exercise room, I think. And now look at it. Cool lights. Wow, nice little seating areas with TVs. There's a Starbucks over there. Wow. This is where the um, the exercise room was before, yeah. Oh my god. And that was the lobby. I did not recognize this. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a full-fledged Starbucks here. There was just like a coffee maker before. That is cool. business center over here. Nice little area. And here's where you can buy some stuff. They had, some, they had a little area set up uh, in the old lobby that was just like right in front of the counter. So this is pretty cool. I got a Starbucks machine. your laundry detergent, they've got that. And of course, one of the best ice creams. That's some Hagen dazs Cream sickle. Ooh, Twix and Snicker ice cream. And frozen fruit thingies. The munch section. Some more, some nuts, some protein bars, popcorn, and some pretzels. The best kind of ruffles there are. And then keeping on the cheese theme, we got the Sun Chips Harvest Cheddar. A microwave, some microwave food. all sorts of Starbucks. Not only do they have the Starbucks over there, but they have a Starbucks machine. And we got over here some more chips. Lots of selection. We got some Kit Kats to go along with the 
frozen versions of candy bars. And cold foods, which is the quench section. Full breakfast costs $24.95, while the continental breakfast is $19.50. At those prices, you can go elsewhere to save money. There's a Denny's within walking distance. Yeah. Actually, got a restaurant back here. Continuing our lobby tour, this is pretty cool. It's like a Disney World reservation thingy. That's pretty neat. It's an office area. Cool. I guess you can rent that. And this is a good neighbor hotel, which you can do if you watch our first video on here. Even our hotel got in on the action. Ooh, look at here. That's some Mickey Mouse going on in here. And this is right near where the pool table and the pool are, the double pool. Toy Story Land still here with the claw. Still hasn't gotten that little green man. Our room has this new this new look. It's pretty cool. Oh, here's the fitness center. Maybe it didn't change. Oh, what's that? This was the old lobby right here. Okay. So they've moved it in a completely different location. Now this looks familiar, because this was right across from the lobby, and this looked very different before. So this place hasn't really changed much, the exercise room. It's basically the same except when you looked out this window before, it was all construction and like, you know, a place where you could skateboard like I said before, but now it's a pool and now they've got all this other cool stuff outside. They've got a bar over there. I mean, this is just completely different outside, but in here it looks exactly the same. And the lobby was across the way before and now they're turning it into something different because the lobby is down there and there was nothing down on that side of the building before, so very different. So our last trip here, the courtyard was kind of a central part because our room actually boarded the courtyard. This time it doesn't. But we're gonna come out here anyways, again. But it's really loud air conditioning system. But yeah, I don't think this has changed that much looks the same coming from the other end from where our room was over there on that side but yeah I got this cool little courtyard with uh, some nice landscaping and it's all pretty much the same got just a normal pool not like that snazzy pool over there Here's an aerial shot of the courtyard with the pool. That's the normal pool. And yeah, we were in this area last time. You can see our room, which I think it was, if you look down there on the second level, 
It was the one on the right. Or maybe it was the one on the left, because we had a window. More on the left. So you can check out that tour in our other video on this lovely hotel. I mean, it was nice before, but man, they have seriously improved this place. So it smells like a new house in here now because of all the construction. It's kind of nice. Brings back memories of when, you know, going to new places, places that were newly built. Well, that's nice of them to tell me a, a good evening and time to relax. Pool hours are 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. for both pools. Chairs in the construction area. where we drove my uh, toy monorail down there in the, the uh, World of Disney video, the second one. You can control this thing right here. Turn it. Three people. Like Rosie's doing. That's not very far. No, and you can't move it up and down, but you can still aim it. And the spray seems to change. See, so it goes from more powerful to just kind of weak. Rosie's fully dressed right now. <laughs> you got these little things right here. If you step on them, the other ones go up more. My turn. Yep, Rosie's controlling it. That's really cool. I'm already wet, why not just go in? The water feels great. I just gotta watch out for sunburn, but. <laughs> Fully clothed. I feel really good with sunburn actually. I got sunburned really bad on my shoulders and it feels really good. How do you feel? Really refreshed. That was <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I just thought this was funny. This guy's head is so hard, he broke this thing. I mean, how could a guy's head break this thing? That's just, that's just entertaining to me. Definitely don't want to swim in there. So they do provide free shuttle service to Universal, so we're taking advantage of that. Because I'm not sure if they charge for parking there. If you take the shuttle, make sure to bring a tip. Unlike Disney transportation, these drivers rely on tips. The shuttles go to Universal Studios, SeaWorld, and every Disney World park except for Animal Kingdom. I would not take this again as it stressed me out a bit. You have to be back at a certain time to catch the bus, and we had to leave the park early to do so. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What is your favorite update at this hotel? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button, make a reservation with us by subscribing so you can stay up to date with our adventures, share this with your traveling friends, and hit the bell icon to be notified of when videos upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. Even a dollar helps. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.